Welcome back to Not So Pro Packer Talk. Yes, I said Packer Talk because we're talking about the Packers. We're bringing back Packer Talk. In this video, we are going to be breaking down the 2023 season for the Green Bay Packers and greeting them on how they did. I gave the Green Bay Packers an A because of what their expectations were going into this season. Now, and we'll get into all that in a second here. But if you guys like this uh, series, make sure you guys to, uh, check it out on our channel. We are grading each and every single team's uh, 2023 season in the NFL last year. Um, so this is our sits video in the series. So if you guys like it, hit the like button. Go check out the other ones, and we'll continue putting these videos out. Uh, but the Packers going into 2023 season, what were the expectations? They weren't very high. It was the evaluation year. All right, and if it was a bad evaluation at the end of the year, then we would go into a rebuild. But it was all about evaluating the players that we had on the team. It was about evaluating Jordan Love, the defense, a, a whole bunch of different areas. But the biggest thing was evaluating Jordan Love and seeing if he could be our franchise quarterback and moving forward. Now, with figuring that out, how many wins were we expected to win? Get I think when we got nine wins, that was the ceiling. All right, a lot of these analysts out there said that we would be lucky to win five games, that we would be lucky to win any games at all. They Some te some analysts out there were saying the P Green Bay Packers were going to be one of the worst teams in the NFL. Jordan Love wasn't going to be anything, and boy, did we prove them wrong. Now, in the first few weeks of the Green Bay Packers season, it did not look good at all. It was very, very rough. Uh, we were 3-5 and five at one point, 3-6, and six, and then – Thankfully, we were able to turn the season around and finish nine and eight, uh, and make it into the playoffs. Uh, after Aaron Jones uh, came back from injury and started playing, and AJ Dillon started uh, actually moving the ball and getting uh, good yards per carry. Um, and once we d uh, were able to establish the running game back into the offense, it opened up everything else for Jordan Love, and it really allowed him to succeed in this offense. Um, so that was the biggest turning point for this uh, Packers offense. Um, and then defensively, this is a rough year again after we have invested so many, uh, so much talent, so many draft picks, so much money into this defense and not getting the result that we want. Um, it wasn't a horrible defense like I, I like I was calling it at certain points of the year. We made, we made Baker Mayfield look good. We look, made Bryce Young look good. Um, this defense made, we made Danny DeVito look good. You guys remember that week? Um, but this defense was up and down points per game. We were pretty good. Um, but the way we allowed teams to just drive down the field on us, it was very inconsistent. Thankfully, we have finally fired our, our defense coordinator, Joe Barry, and we have hired Jeff Halfley, um, from the Boston College. He was a head coach at Boston College, and he's going to be our new defense coordinator. Has had time in the league with the Niners, uh, I believe the Jags also. Um, but he is coming back into the NFL. He's going to be our defensive coordinator, and he is going to be playing much more a press man coverage um, instead of this zone that we've been doing uh, in Green Bay for so long. Um, so really excited about that and his aggressiveness that he's going to bring to the defense. I think it's, we really, really need it. Um, so... Yeah, 2023 defense was very disappointing. Did shine in a few games, especially down the stretch, um, but had some really ga tough games where it was you were just scratching your head trying to figure out was it all Joe Barry or is it also all the players that we've invested in. Um, so we'll we'll evaluate uh, the defense this next year and see whose fault really was it. Was it Joe Barry or is it the players that we have uh, drafted? Um, so Packers, we made it to the playoffs. I mean. That, we made it to the playoffs, and then we beat the second, uh, the second ranked team, the Dallas Cowboys. Now I know we all like to crap on the Cowboys, etc. That they always choke in the playoffs. And we all expected this, whatever. But at the end of the day, we put down the beating on that Dallas defense and really showed who we are and who what we are. This young offense can be capable of, and it's very, very exciting. Um, we we beat put put the beating down on the Cowboys, and then. Uh, the Nets game, we did lose to the Niners, but we did very much uh, contend in that game. We were we looked like the better team for most of the, the game. And then at the fourth quarter, unraveled for us. San Francisco, San Francisco is a great team. Hats off to them. Definitely, de I won't give, take anything away from them, but it was really great to see that the Packers could contend, contend with the best 
in the most crucial moments. Uh, really, really exciting to see how this uh, team continues to develop. So that's why I give the Packers an A um, for the 2023 season. I think we exceeded all expectations, uh, and it was a great year. Now we just got to figure out how to continue building this team and make it into a championship, a Super Bowl caliber winning team. So that's what we're going to be talking about now. How do we how do we move forward? All right. So Jordan Love, we know he's the, he's going to be our quarterback. Uh, we are not able to extend him, uh, which he will get an extension until May. Uh, I forget the exact date in May, but it's around, it's in May that we'll be able to extend uh, Jordan Love, and he's going to get a massive extension. Uh, I believe what he's going to be looking at and what his agent is going to be looking at when those talks start um, is going to be uh, Aaron Rodgers' contract that he got after his first year, uh, which put him at the fourth highest quarterback paid in the NFL at that time. I think Jordan Love is going to be asking for something similar because he definitely had a great year, one of the best, be- a better year than Aaron Rodgers had in his first year starting. Um, and he, Jordan Love made the playoffs while Aaron Rodgers didn't. Um, so I think Jordan Love is going to earn him himself a massive contract. I think he's going to be in the 50 mil uh, per year range. Um, potentially, we'll have to see where it ends up, but it is definitely going to be a huge contract. I'm hoping it could stay in the 40 million range just to help with cap space and et cetera to uh, continue build around him. But he has definitely earned himself a huge contract. And I, I definitely want to lock this guy up because he only has one more year on his deal and we need him for the future. Um, Cause he's, he's a guy. He is a guy. It looks like. Um, and then other things that we need to do. So the biggest, like biggest thing we need to change is David Bakhtiari. Uh, David Bakhtiari is our Left tackle, long time left tackle, been in Green Bay for many, many years. But these past three years, he has been riddled with injuries, unfortunately. With his ACL, has been Bosch surgeries after Bosch surgeries, never fully healing, being inflamed, and not being able to stay healthy on the field. Um, and he missed, he played the first game and then missed the rest of the 2023 season. And this upcoming year, his cap number is $40 million. $40 million. Now, this definitely could not stay on the Packers. He needs to take a pay cut if he wants to stay, and I don't see that happening. So I definitely think we need to trade or cut him. Now, the problem with that is uh, trading, who's going to take $40 million on? Uh, or at least I think it needs to be $19 million cap from David Bakhtiari, who we don't even know is going to be completely healthy. He has said that he's his surgery went well and he's going to be able to rehab, but it's been a while since he's been uh, playing uh, regular football. So who's going to take that uh, contract on? Um, so it's a really, it's a really hard uh, thing to trade. Um, now, why, why don't we just trade him? Like that, that's you're probably asking that. Uh, we do say twenty million of that forty million. Um, if we do uh, end up cutting him and only have a nineteen million uh, dead money uh, for the Packers, but why don't we just do that right now? Well, the problem is with David Bakhtiari is he's injured right now. If we cut him right now while he is not medically cleared. He can put a injury grievance in, and if it get, it'll go to NFL court, whatever. And if they say that we just cut him because of injury, which is honestly the case, uh, if he can't uh, clear medical, um, then we are going to be still on the 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 line for that twenty million, and we will have saved nothing for cutting him. So as far as cutting him right now, it's most likely not going to happen. Now you're asking when can he when can he uh, clear a medical exam? It's not going to be until training camp. So most likely what is going to happen with David Bakhtiari, he is going to stay on the Packers until training camp. And then we'll, unless we're able to train him before that, then we'll have to cut him once he can clear a uh, physical. So that is the most likely scenario with David Bakhtiari. But as far as the start of week one, is David Bakhtiari going to be there? Most likely not. Um, so that def- that 40 million has to change. Um as far as after that, um, we definitely need to uh, restructure a few deals. Kenny Clark, Jair Alexander, and then Aaron Jones is 100% coming back. Uh, our GM, Goot, said that he was the heart bar- heartbeat of this team when asked if uh, Aaron Jones will be back. Aaron Jones is still under contract for one more year, but his cap hit right now is $17 million, um, which is a huge hit. Um, the only per- people who are above that is Nick Chubb, and he's tied with CMC. Uh, we cannot have him on that $17 million. Definitely needs to change. 
Um, hopefully he takes a, a cap hit uh, or a, uh, a pay cut uh, like he did last year because if we just straight up cut him, he's not going to earn all the money that he could if he just took a pay cut with us. Uh, no one's going to pay him on the open market uh, as much as that he could p- potentially earn with the Green Bay Packers. So hopefully he takes another pay cut and will stay with the Packers. Uh, that's what I see as the most likely scenario. What is the biggest uh, needs for the Packers uh, in the draft and et cetera? Um, w- the biggest thing that we need to uh, fit is the safety position. Right now we don't have a solidified starter over there. Um, it is everybody has hit free agency and has not played very well. There's a chance that we might bring a couple guys back on uh, small deals, but we are going to most likely need to either attack a veteran in free agency and most likely draft in the draft. And hopefully I would hope a first or second round will go there to a safety position. Other things that the Packers need to uh, address is the running back position. Aaron Jones, he's, he's 30 years old now. He's entering the last year of his deal. A.J. Dillon is in free agency. It's iffy if we're going to bring him back. We need to address the, the running back position. I think we need to do, draft a running back in the third, fourth round and start developing a new guy behind Aaron Jones on this last year in Green Bay. Um, so those are the biggest things that we need uh, as far as our team. Uh, obviously, you want to add more linebackers. You want to add more defensive linemen for this new defense that GS Jeff Halfley is going to uh, own. Uh, our coach and uh, always need no, more corners. We have Jerry Alexander, but Eric Stos has not lived up to this first round uh, pick since his rookie year. Um, it definitely needs to be some change there. Um, so I would love to retool the defense offensively. I would love to spend a first round, uh, a, a potentially first round pick on an offensive lineman uh, or address offensive lineman somewhere in the draft. But the Packers need to. As far as weapons, other than running back, we are fine. Wide receiver just could develop. Tight end, we drafted two guys last year. Develop those guys. They look, both look great uh, last year. Th- this this team can be very, very good. Um, as, if, as long as we draft and develop them, it is a young team that is going to be very, very good for years to come. As long as we, d- as long as we continue to draft and develop and develop the guys that we already have, this team is going to be very scary for the next five years, in my opinion. So that's the reason why I gave them an A and what they the Packers need to do moving forward. It's been, it was a very exciting year, but I'm excited for next year, and I think we have a chance at a Super Bowl if we play our cards right. Uh, we got close this past year. I think we can. I, I think the expectation is now NFC Championship. Let's get to the Super Bowl. Um, so that's that's the expectations for this team now. It is much higher. They, they will be graded on a harder curve next year, but I'm excited for it. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Check out our the rest of the videos of uh, grading the NFL teams of the 2023 season. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned to all those videos. And until next time, keep on grinding, guys. Go Pack Go!